How can a young person stay pure in a world filled with so much impurity? It's a burning question, isn't it? We live in a time where temptations are everywhere, making the path of purity seem like a daunting journey. But isn't it worth exploring this idea of maintaining purity amidst all these challenges? It's a puzzle, a riddle, a mystery waiting to be solved. Well, Psalm 119 verse 9 provides us with a valuable insight. Let's dive into it, shall we? Psalm 119 verse 9 says, How can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? This verse poses a question that many of us grapple with and then provides a direct answer. But what does it all mean? First, let's break down the verse. The young person mentioned here represents anyone, regardless of age, who seeks to lead a pure life. The path of purity symbolizes a lifestyle that aligns with God's standards of righteousness and holiness. Now the question, how can a young person stay on the path of purity, is an inquiry about maintaining a life of integrity in a world full of distractions and temptations. The answer given is, by living according to your word. Here, your word refers to the Bible, God's written message to humanity. It's a guidebook full of wisdom and instructions for leading a life that pleases God. So, the verse is saying that the key to living a pure life is to live according to the teachings of the Bible. But why is living according to God's word important? Well, the Bible serves as a compass, directing us towards righteousness and away from harmful paths. It's like a lamp that illuminates the dark, helping us see clearly and make wise decisions. In a world filled with complexities and moral ambiguities, the Bible provides clear practical advice on how to maintain purity in our thoughts, words and actions. For instance, it teaches us to be honest, kind, forgiving and self-controlled. Living according to God's word also means being in constant conversation with Him through prayer and meditation. It's about seeking His wisdom and guidance in all aspects of our lives. When we immerse ourselves in His word and apply its teachings to our daily lives, we are essentially putting on spiritual armor, which protects us from the temptations and distractions that could lead us astray. So, the Bible is our guide, but how do we apply its teachings to our daily lives? In order to maintain purity, we must apply God's word to our daily lives. This statement is not merely a suggestion, but a vital principle that can guide us on a path of purity. Let's delve into some practical tips that can help us maintain purity, each one inspired by the profound wisdom found in Psalm 119 verse 9. Firstly, immerse yourself in God's word. Reading and meditating on the scriptures is like taking a bath in pure, refreshing water. It cleanses our minds, refreshes our spirits, and realigns our hearts with God's truth. As Psalm 119 verse 9 reminds us, how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? Secondly, be proactive in avoiding situations that may lead to impurity. It's easier to maintain purity when we're not constantly faced with temptations. This doesn't mean we shut ourselves off from the world but that we exercise wisdom in our choices. Just as a driver uses a map to avoid roads with traffic, we can use God's word as our map to navigate away from situations that might cause us to stumble. Thirdly, seek godly advice. Surrounding ourselves with wise godly people who can offer sound advice is another way to maintain purity. Their wisdom and experiences can provide valuable insights, helping us make decisions that honor God. Remember, Psalm 119 verse 9 underscores the importance of living according to your word. When we seek godly advice, we're essentially seeking guidance that aligns with God's word. Fourthly, pray for strength to resist temptations. Prayer is a powerful tool in maintaining purity. It's our lifeline to God, our source of strength. When we're faced with temptations, we can turn to prayer, asking God for the strength to resist. This aligns with the essence of Psalm 119 verse 9, reminding us that our strength to stay pure comes from living according to God's word. Lastly, practice regular self-reflection. Taking time to evaluate our thoughts, actions and motivations can help us spot areas that need improvement. It allows us to measure our progress and make necessary adjustments. As we reflect, we must remember to do so in light of God's word allowing it to illuminate our path and guide our steps, just as Psalm 119 verse 9 suggests. 
Maintaining purity isn't a one-time event, but a continuous journey. It requires constant vigilance, commitment, and reliance on God's Word. It may not always be easy, but it's always worth it. As we strive to live according to God's Word, we're not just maintaining purity for our own sake, but we're honoring God and setting a positive example for others. We're living out the truth of Psalm 119 verse 9, showing the world that a life of purity is not only possible, but it's a life filled with peace, joy, and fulfillment. With these practical tips, we can strive to maintain purity in our lives. Let's remember, purity isn't just about what we avoid, but what we pursue, a life lived according to God's word. So we've learned that maintaining purity is not an impossible task. Let's take a moment to reflect on the key takeaways from our discussion. Firstly, we delved into understanding Psalm 119 verse 9, which poses the question, how can a young person stay pure? The answer lies in living according to God's word. This is the foundation of purity, a cornerstone that guides our thoughts, words, and actions. We then explored practical tips for maintaining purity. It's not about perfection, but about striving each day to align our lives with God's word. This could be through daily prayer, meditating on the scriptures, or seeking guidance from spiritual mentors. Another crucial point is the importance of community, Surrounding ourselves with like-minded individuals who also seek to live according to God's word can provide support and accountability on this journey. Lastly, we discuss the significance of grace. We will stumble, we will fall, but God's grace is sufficient for us. In those moments, it's crucial to seek forgiveness, learn from the experience, and continue on our quest for purity. As we wrap up, I encourage you to reflect on these points. How can you apply them to your daily life? How can you make your journey towards purity more intentional and meaningful? Remember, purity is a journey, not a destination. With God's word as our guide, we can navigate the challenges and remain on the path of purity.